y'all. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jamie and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that bell so we become friends and you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you love DIYs and craft projects that are inexpensive and easy to do, you're gonna wanna stick around because we're gonna make the kiddest little crate wagon and then we're gonna fill it with some apples that can also be used as pumpkins. And this little wagon is gonna carry you through so many holidays with your decor and it's so fun to make. So with that, let's get started. So what you'll need for this project is a four one and a half inch buttons and four half inch buttons a wood crate from the Dollar Tree, or I've also seen them at Michael's and they're 99 cents at Michael's. You'll need four small square blocks from the Dollar Tree. They come in a large package. I think there's probably maybe 20 in a package. Um, you'll also need a small wood dowel stick from the Dollar Tree. You'll need one jumbo craft stick um, and some paints and your glue gun. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna take all of these buttons. Now you could take all of these outside and just give them a, a just a good coat of spray paint if you'd like, but I just really didn't wanna take everything outside. So I like to use um, my chalk paint on plastic stuff or glass stuff because it kind of acts as a primer for things that you aren't going to really use um, or move around. And since this is going to be a decorative piece, then I am just going to paint all of my buttons, Give just give it a really good coat of just some white chalk paint. <music> Okay, so along with painting my buttons, I also take all of my wooden pieces and apply some antique wax to the crate, the wooden dowel, the craft stick, and the small wooden blocks, just to give them a nice um, finish. So once all the paints dry on everything, I take the large one and a half inch buttons and I attach the half inch small buttons to the center of those to create the hubcap effect on the wheels. So we'll set those aside for right now and we'll take our crate. We want to turn it upside down and the small wooden blocks we need to set in the corners because we want all, the weight of the crate to be on those wooden blocks and not the buttons. So I'm placing them in all four corners about a quarter inch from the ends of the crate, but even with the sides. Okay. 
Then I'm going to take my craft stick and place it on the center slat of the crate, leaving about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Um, you may want to hold on to it, pick it up, kind of look at it. Um, this is where your handle is going to rest. Um, and decide kind of how much you want out. I think I left about a half inch to a quarter or three quarters of an inch out and I glued it down on that center slat of the crate. So now I placed my crate on its side so that I could line the wheels up and you can just kind of eyeball these um, again you want to make sure that your buttons are lined up with the small blocks that you placed on the bottom of your crate so you want to if you notice like my finger is on the bottom of the wood block and the button so that they're even with each other. And then just flipping it over, I'm going to apply the buttons to the other side. So now we're gonna apply the, um, attach the handle of your wagon. Um, I will say that I had to really hold this for a while and let it dry good. Um, I, I ended up attaching it and it kept wanting to slide because I wanted it resting on the, the crate itself. So I did have to hold that for a while and then I, I added some extra glue around the base of it just to, to secure it more. Then I took a little bit of my antique wax and kind of rubbed it around the extra glue that I put on um, just to kind of blend it in. But again, I mean, this is a decorative piece, so, you know, it really won't be moving around. I just think this turned out so cute and we'll be able to use it for um, fall. You can load it with pumpkins and um, at Christmas with um, some ornaments, all kinds of ideas with this. It's just really cute. <music> So to fill our cute little wagon with some apples, or you can make these into pumpkin pumpkins, it just depends on what you paint them with, you're going to need some tumbling Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree, some of the square blocks like we used in the wagon, a leaf, um, and some paint, and your glue gun. So you're gonna need eight of the tumbling blocks to make um, one apple or pumpkin. We're gonna call them apples today. So, cause we're gonna paint them red. Now, if you paint them orange, they'll be pumpkins. So, and it, 
my Dollar Tree has the Jenga blocks that are the dark brown and the unfinished wood. And I've done them in both and they just are kind of different shades of red. So um, it doesn't really matter. And I have painted them before I've put them together and I've painted them after I put them together and it doesn't really make a difference. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your Jenga blocks and put some glue on the edge of it and line it up with the front of the other Jenga blocks so that basically you make an L. And then it's most important that, I mean, you wanna try it to get it even on the, um, on the sides, but we all know those Jenga blocks don't always line up good. But it's more important that you get it lined up on one of the ends because they're gonna wanna stand up and you don't want it wobbling. So you've created like an L shape or an angle with your Jenga block. And then basically you're gonna do the same thing with the other one, but you're gonna put it on the other side of the flat Jenga. So now you have somewhat of a T shape. So you have two that are flat and the center one is, um, yeah, like that. <laughs> Straight up and down, that's what I'm trying to say. So then you're gonna take three more and do exactly the same thing. So you're gonna take the one and you're going to make an L. So you're gonna attach the side of one to the front of the other. And do the exact same thing with the third block. So now you've used six of your blocks. I knew that one was gonna fall off. That's why I was kinda, I was trying to push it in to see if it would grab, but it just wasn't gonna do it. So I just re-glued it. Okay, so now you wanna take your first three pieces that you put together and you wanna take your seventh block and you're gonna line it up underneath, but you're going to leave just a smidge out. So you're not gonna line it up directly underneath it. You're gonna leave out probably maybe an 16th to an eighth inch. And you're gonna glue it, it, it will be flat. But you wanna leave out that little bitty piece 
So it's almost like a little stair step. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side. Just leaving out that little smidge on the end. And again, you just kind of, you want to make sure more that your ends are uh, more level than anything so that they sit up right. So then you want to take your other piece, three piece, and you want to put it on top of the other one in the same fashion so that you still have that little smidge sticking out. which if you line this piece up with the matching piece, it should line up where those two middle pieces are sticking out. Now you could put a third piece in the middle if you wanted to. I chose not to. I kind of felt like it was wasted. Um, but you will need to do that before you glue them together. You, you're not going to be able to slip a third piece in that middle once you glue them together because they fit kind of tight. So then you'll want to paint that piece red or orange, if, whatever you're making at the time. For today's video, we're making apples, so I painted them red. And um, I painted, for this one, I painted the top brown. I do have one apple that I painted the stem green, but I painted this little guy brown. So then once everything's dry, you want to take just a little leaf that you've saved or pulled off of a stem of flowers and you want to put you a little bit of glue on there and you want to stick it down inside that hole but in a corner, in a back corner so that it kind of sticks up and then I take my the end of my paintbrush and just kind of hold it, push it down and hold it. Then your little um, square block that you've painted brown or green or whatever color you've chosen, you're going to put that on, but now I kind of put mine up kind of toward the front of my piece so that it doesn't really topple inside the hole, if that makes sense. And then you want to let it dry really good. And then you know me, I want to add some extra glue. <laughs> and then that's it. And it's just a super simple, quick craft and they are so cute. With the little wagon filled with apples or pumpkins or ornaments, 
What a cute way to display along with your table centerpiece or just on a side table, just to add a little um, seasonal whimsy to any of your decor. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure that you've subscribed and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my future videos.